Machine Gun Kelly just can't seem to catch a break at these live events. First there was his altercation with Conor McGregor, and then there was the crowd of people booing him, then there was the allegation that he had thrown a punch at a fan who had jumped over the barrier at a show during his Louder Than Life Festival performance in Louisville, Kentucky, and this time he actually had items thrown at him, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you could do us a big favor, and please subscribe to our newest channel called IO Elite. This will be your one-stop shop for all of our marathons and biggest videos. I'll make sure to drop that link just down in the description below for you. And with that out of the way, let's begin. A video has been released that shows Machine Gun Kelly being on the receiving end of bottles, cans, and broken branches being thrown at him while he was performing. MJK was performing at the Aftershock Festival in Sacramento, California, and while he was performing on the roof of a sound tent, some audience members tried to actually hit him with beer cans, water bottles, and other broken branches. After he narrowly avoids being struck by a beer can, MJK turns to the people throwing things and gives them the middle finger. I mean, rightfully so. At the beginning of his set, he said to the metal crowd, this morning Morning, I was like, do we get on the plane and go to this? Adding, I was sitting there thinking about the last festival we did where this 10 year old got her poster ripped up just for liking me. I'm doing this show for her and everyone who came to see us play. All of this animosity towards Colson Baker started when the Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor declined to do a collaboration with MGK and Travis Barker. Some email screenshots showed Mr. Taylor telling Travis Barker that he just didn't think that he was the right fit for the song that they had in mind. Although MGK decided to spin his own narrative on all of this. He had earlier claimed that Taylor was bitter after he was dropped from the collab would because he was terrible. That was really the only excuse that he gave, which sounds like something a bitter person would actually make up, but I digress. Plus, with MGK mocking older Slipknot fans at Riot Fest where they were headlining and he was also performing, this just made Machine Gun Kelly an even bigger enemy of the metal crowd. As such, he has become quite the contentious figure on this festival circuit. A majority of the shows that he's been performing at this summer are all metal festivals festivals with a majority of those fans probably also being fans of Slipknot. As I mentioned in the intro, things escalated during the Louder Than Life festival where a concert goer hopped the security barrier and charged at him. Initially, it did appear that MGK had thrown a punch at this fan while security restrained him, but according to Coulson, he never actually threw a punch, nor were people booing him like multiple outlets had suggested. He later tweeted about this and said, I don't know why the media lies in their narrative against me all the time, but all I saw was 20,000 amazing fans at the festival singing every word and 20 angry ones. In terms of the fans that are doing dumb stuff like this, just stop. Please just stop. You look like a child throwing a tantrum. I don't care if the skinny, blonde-haired boy made fun of your favorite metal band. You're probably 40 now and you just need to act like an adult. Just do what everyone else does and write a strongly worded review on the Facebook event page. You don't need to throw beer cans and sticks at a performer. It's a festival. If you don't like MGK, go walk over to another concert that's happening and enjoy the one life that you have. But as always, we would love to hear your thoughts on all of this madness, so don't forget to drop us a comment down below. For now, I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try it.